Okay, so you may know me. Uh, my name is Miroslav Suki, and I would like to talk here about a uh, uh, sponsorship process and how to improve that, and if it is possible. And I, yeah, hold that, please. Yeah. I'm, I'm Fedora sponsor and I've been monitoring how the sponsorship works and I'm personally not satisfied with that. So I mo watched it closely for, for more than a year. Uh, I have some data uh, and uh, I can show you them, probably even some ideas. Uh, but the main point would should be that we later should discuss how to improve and I would really love to s hear your ideas which I may later uh, present on mailing list or something like that. Come here. Sorry. Sorry, so what, what, is, what is the situ situation today? Uh, if someone want to join Fedora and contribute to Fedora and, and sorry I'm not right now I'm speaking about contributing like like packaging packages there are dozen of other areas editing wiki, wiki art usability uh, outreach and others but I'm focusing here only on the packaging part so what's the situation today you have to submit package review and block Fedora FE need sponsor and and wait and wait and wait sometimes it's it's fast but sometimes it is not uh, right now we have in the queue 100 package reviews which are waiting for uh, sponsor or to be sponsored. But that's not much. That's I not remember much. remember we had times when it was thousands. close, uh, around a thousand. Yeah, that's not much, but it's still more than zero. <laughs> uh, fortunately, it's not growing too much recently, uh, but it's not declining either. Uh, and I will mention it on another slide. There are some some uh, reviews which are waiting there for years, which is not ideal either. Yeah. Sometimes it's on purpose, I would say. Like yes. The, does anybody has anybody been part of the Hydra Facts review? Yeah, I, yes. I, I, it's I, probably I, the longest standing I, review. Yes. I, 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 I was the I was the one who who finished that. Okay, I was the one who tried to pick it up <laughs> first and. Yeah. First, uh, it was me. <laughs> I mean, it's been like eight years, so I don't even remember. Yeah. <laughs> and the, the, yeah, and the, it was him, Kevin. And the <laughs> and the review last was closed after nine years. Well, it was two upstreams fighting each other. Yes. Right? That was, he, that was uh, but but this was day. even yeah in Fedora fight yeah. I sent I sent the, the guy uh, cap and uh, and the Fedora Fedora cap uh, cap and the cap with, with um, like, like Fedora swap for for his patient uh, and patients. But well, so, but yeah, we have some reviews which are quite stout, and uh, there is a fight whether the guys should wait uh, because there are still some review which was not even touched. By sponsors, uh, or whether they should contact one. Yeah, some try to contact. It's problem who to contact because we have 135 sponsors, which is not so much, but nice number. But I will speak about that later. And the queue, we just say that. Right now, the oldest review is four four years old. It used to be nine years old. Uh, we have one. Uh, 190 reviews which need sponsors and at the same time we have 10 times more regular package review which are waiting for being reviewed 
which are filed with motivation, and I will speak about that later, just remember that data. Uh, okay, we have 135 sponsors, but that's only just record in DB, because some of them are inactive, and some of them are even dead. So, if, if, if you try to reach some of those sponsors, you may or get be lucky to even get some response. Some of them are specialized on some uh, on in their field. Uh, I will probably not say Java uh, package for the review uh, if, if I can avoid that. Uh, uh, and I guess others have that similar. So. Find the correct sponsor for your package can, can be hard, but look closely what on, on those sponsors. I gather some statistics and 80 sponsors have no visible activity in past year. It, is, it means neither not comment in those uh, reviews uh, or uh, neither uh, sponsored uh, somebody directly. Uh, uh, did you also check if there was activity in the build system? Or in what? In the build system. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, that would be interesting to cross these two things because someone who doesn't even build a package in, let's say, two years and not yeah, but, but some some of them are active. I I, I yeah. seen in that list some people which are yeah. active and do a lots of work for Fedora, so they are active in Fedora. Yeah. They just didn't then any 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 sponsorship yeah. in the past year. Yeah. And yes, I know about some guys which done some sponsorship related work, like talking about packaging. At that. So I I don't want to name them because it's not fair because they they probably done some 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 work, but. It doesn't help with uh, lowering those picture reviews. Right. Um, well, I think uh, you're, you're, um, you say no visible activity. I think that's the right term. Yeah. Uh, I'm one of the 80 with no visible activity. I have uh, like something 22, 23 people that I sponsor. I still look over every commit they do, I take care of them, I email with them in privately. Of course, that's not visible. Yeah. Uh, I'm not ready to accept new sponsors. Well, maybe I yeah. am because yeah. five of I'm, them I'm, 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 I'm aware that it's, it's not fair metrics, yes. but I'm, I'm trying to get at least something close so we know how, how many sponsors me as new uh, guy who want to join Fedora is able to reach. Yes, yes. Well, but the thing yeah. is like you already came up with this idea on the mailing list earlier and I was one of the people who replied and said hey I'm still active but just yeah. not visible yeah. and then you uh, responded like okay I'm going to shut down my idea and uh, I think the truth is somewhere in the middle. Yeah. We need to find a way that <laughs> and we, we can identify people who are no longer active or Willing to accept new sponsors, and I think you're suggesting I get, uh, that Crossing, uh, uh, if if somebody is really no longer active on uh, in the whole system, he doesn't authenticate uh, against FAS or something, mm -hmm. then he's really gone. Mm -hmm. And these need to be wiped out. That's a more general problem. That's yeah. not. Really yeah, that's a general problem. I, I I think maybe uh, if we can refine. Uh, the, the data and it identified a very few people because I don't expect that we have 80 person people that are totally inactive. But if we have at least like five or ten people, that's something that should be brought to the sponsor list. Uh, well, we have this alias, and we say okay, we have a ticketing system. Now. I mean, uh, no, but maybe it would be more sensitive to use that. Okay, I, I will postpone it for for later discussion. Yeah, uh, I would first try to present those data. It's, they are not perfect, but let's assume for a while that, uh, no, it's well, still very on, on, on the statistic level, it, it shows us as at least the, where, where, where the percentage we are. We have about 50 something. Yeah, so right now we have probably 55% which are willing to sponsor somebody or take somebody new. 
Uh, it is not a big number. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, how do sponsors work in past year? Uh, from my uh, for, uh, from my script, it seems that only twelve sponsors work on Bugzillas again. It seems like really low number for me. I, I don't even trust it, but I didn't have time to validate that. But still low number. Actually, that's a worrying one because I, I think we're likely to. Um, but uh, that means that a lot of sponsors are sponsoring people who are art working on Godzilla. So that's something that needs to be followed. Yeah. We Despite the fact that only 12 people, 12 people works on Bugzilla, we had 49 <coughs> sponsors, which sponsored four, 142 sponsors. So it was either direct sponsorship or commentaries or something like that. So yeah, we have a lot of fresh, fresh blood. We have some fr fr fresh blood, uh, but obviously no. Not all of them come through the normal uh, sponsorship process as we plan to to work it. For a moment, let's uh, from uh, why the sponsory pull out. Uh, from my experience, and I don't have the data for that because. I may contact some some uh, sponsor which pull out, but it, they usually wait for uh, days, months, or years, and then lost the interest interested in in Fedora because they have no reaction, uh, and then somebody after a few years, sometimes even me, come and do. You, are you still interesting? And when they didn't react for two months or something like that the package review is closed so but we basically lost the people they were in some time interesting in Fedora and contributing and we lost them and if you were on the presentation of B today morning uh, they have uh, some data from data grapper and there she had a huge number of about people which created first account done some work for Fedora like less than 10 the uh, action in data gripper and then they were gone they no no more interesting in in fedora so uh, those are people which we may work with them and convince them to to join fedora do something uh, and very often the reason is that uh, why, why we as sponsors are uh, Closing is not about the review. Is because the sponsor doesn't react. Yeah, that, that's true. Very, very often. And uh, uh, I take a limited sample of some of those oldest reviews, and the, the average waiting time for the sponsor reaction is 12 months, with the, uh, and the longest 28 months. Uh, so yeah, we sometimes have to wait for the sponsor, and sometimes even for a long time. But at the same time, and these numbers are 50 to 50, 50% 50 we are waiting for the sponsor and 50% for the sponsors. Instead, we are much longer waiting for the sponsor. <coughs> On the same sample, there, we wait, waited tw 26 months for, for sponsor uh, when the longest uh, time was 64. But the thing is, the sponsor doesn't have to do, it doesn't have to be a sponsor that does the review. Anybody can do the review. I, I, I actually, the standard process is that we ask sponsors to do informal reviews, and they often don't. And it's even, I think, written somewhere in the wiki. Yeah. And they should start with it, because when I see I will, I will mention it that in a while. Yeah. Um, I, I even said, uh, thought about my man. Are we Red Hat only focused? Because I noticed that uh, quite often those people which get are sponsored are at redhat.com. So I said, are we Red Hat centric or not? Uh, actually, it was uh, some other sample for past quarter. It was, I think uh, there was uh, 40 uh, people sponsored. 21 was from Red Hat, 19 from 
some other domains, uh, and three these, from these others were likely Red Hat because they name matched to our uh, local employee da database. Uh, so we have a lot of people from Red Hat which are being sponsored, but at the same time, the, approximately the same number from the others. Uh, and, there, and it seems we are not making exception because uh, former Red Hat Vice President are still waiting for four years to be sponsored. So, uh, well, it shows that we at least don't prefer anybody. That's right. Yeah, 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 correct. But very interesting was that though from these 90 others were four from Intel, they have at intel.com, which brings me the idea that very likely those new sponsory, successful sponsory comes from the group or from the community where somebody from Fedora, Fedora already exists. If you join a Red Hat, somebody will, will mentor you because you need it for work. And it will say, do that, do that. And you will very likely be sponsored within days or week. If you come from the Intel or some other company where already have Fedora account and his packager, he will guide you and say, Right now, you have to read these guidelines, but only these parts, these are important. These other 15 pages long is not so important. And watch this process, you need to know that. And you are uh, sponsored again very quick. If you come from the university, where is already somebody from Fedora, it goes quick. But if you are really newbie, new buy, and you are alone and you just heard and read about Fedora and want to join and you don't know anything about Fedora, nobody. It's very likely for you to be hard. Uh, it's, uh, you, are, you are supposed to say, uh, read the guidelines, it's, it's long. Uh, and I don't even know all those guidelines because they are changing quite quite fast and, and I don't know that yeah uh, and if you have and, and if you should if you have to do some informal review you have to know the guidelines first <laughs> so it's chicken egg problem yes. When you do a lot of work in engine Python, you know Python guidelines pretty well, but you're not likely to know PHP guidelines, which are very different and both at different rates. So maybe, it's it's yeah. Yeah. maybe we need specialized people. Yeah. Well, I asked the sponsors to fill a survey. I get 33 responses. Here are the results. Uh, uh, one. You can you, the link is on my on my slides. So uh, when you will check it, it's on the internet. Uh, you can go through that. Uh, but there is nothing too surprising. Uh, just that how often do you check for the new bugzillas? Uh, blocking FE need FE need sponsors rarely year per year or once some period. But despite that these answers are very likely honest, I think they are very often a lie. Because I asked several guys, how many people you sponsored in past half a year? They told me some numbers and when I conf uh, compared that against my script, uh, it, it, it's often like, okay, I sponsored like six people. I said, no, it was just two. You sponsored six people in past 18 months. Because the time, they, they are not lying on purpose, but the time flies. It's, it sounds like it been yesterday, but it's been years ago, probably. So, 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 
It's like I very often say, yeah, I'm doing sponsorship work quite often, but if I look into the emails, it seems that okay, I done a last review six months ago, so because I had a lot of work and I forget about the time. But yeah. it's also that this survey is by no means uh, representative, or what yeah. is the term? It's not scientific. It's, uh, yeah. it's, it's just you yeah. got some responses. It's Inactive, wrong. I'm, again, I'm, I'm guilty as charged, and I didn't fill, fill out the survey. So. I don't even remember if I did or not. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but more interesting was a uh, similar sponsor, uh, survey which I sent to Sponsory, which, wa which were recently successfully sponsored. I didn't send those which were unsuccessfully, uh, my fault. Uh, and a lot of them say that they were pretty fast sponsored but some of them uh, waited even, even I think there was a year, yeah, some of them took a year. Uh, some of them find hard to find sponsor, some of them say, okay, my Red Hat teammates sponsored me. Yeah, <laughs> so, so that's the I'm, I'm talking about. If you have some teammate who already is Fedora, uh, you are very likely to find a sponsor. If you are not, uh, it's, it's difficult for you. Uh, interesting is this part about the <coughs> biggest obstacle. Uh, and you can find there, the culprit, some say there are a lack of documentation. Uh, some say there, there is too much documentation. So, so someone someone want less, someone want more. But so are we, are we correct? But I don't think so. Definitely, there is something fishy with our documentation, mm -hmm. and that's what I said. We have long guidelines. And you are unable to comprehend that on, on your day zero. Uh, so you may need probably something. Uh, smaller uh, while if you are more advanced uh, you need some pointers later. That's one of the things I noticed uh, when I was sponsoring people or reviewing new packages is that uh, telling them to use Federal Review because yes. it has a small, it focuses on smaller set of guidelines and most of these guidelines, they don't even have heard of them. So we right. have to focus on the most important ones. That's true. Yeah. I mean, there are so many different aspects. Of one of this is the review process sucks. Yeah. And we know it because it was, we came up with it in 2006 or something. And, and Bugzilla doesn't work. And that's somebody's been working on an app and or some kind of web application. When that's done, if it ever gets done, That'll make a whole lot of things nicer. I mean, we have been trying to split the system to make it easier. Um, that's why the, anybody can do a package review now. It's just if somebody ends up... The question is, I have it later in slides, okay. for a suggestion for QA, Fedora QA. Can we run the Fedora review automatically? Yeah, I wish. The tool would, of course, do that. Has anyone seen this tool? I looked at the source in last flock, but I don't know what happened yeah. to it. Yeah, so because a lot of sponsors just fill it and there are some issues, so that's like first response, right. run the Fedora review, there are some issues, and fix this shit first, right. and then we will talk late about, about other sparks. I mean, but that, that can be done automatically. Because we know, I mean, Fedora review itself can take a Bugzilla number, pull out the last bit of info, there's nothing that stops somebody from taking a list of those, those bugs, asking Fedora Review to run, and then pasting the input into the bug. I mean, that's that's what you script. Yeah. So, and that is doable. I mean, it's just, has anyone done it? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> the, the thing is, when I do that, I want to commit first. Yes. 
to uh, either do the review yeah. or something. Well, I mean, look, we know we all see a lot of reviews, but the package doesn't even build. Okay? I mean, it doesn't build at all. We know that. I mean, they should be look, doing this themselves, and some of them don't. And in fact, the sad thing is, is the ones that don't are often the ones that sit in the sponsors or in the review queue. That's why we have 1,200 reviews. Um, you know, it's it's not because all these packages are impossible. Sometimes, yeah, we get hammered. So, I uh, I made a step aside and I look right now. Uh, how Debian do that? If, is there something which our competition uh, do better, which we can learn from? Uh, uh, I am sure if someone knows the Debian how it works, but they have. Uh, two kinds of uh, developers. They have uh, Debian developer, uh, which can do anything. Uh, I, I think they don't even need to send package review uh, like we do. They can upload anything. So they build something and immediately upload. I'm not sure if we won't do that, but it will definitely help to lower that package review of those 1,000 package. So, uh, but that would mean you would need to be make everybody a developer. At, uh, but it's quite hard uh, to become yeah, Debian developer. I, I don't know. I don't even know what it actually takes. But I I, years, I tried it. If, if I try, I, I, I try I, to I become the one. And if I manage to succeed, I probably wouldn't sit here today. Mm -hmm. uh, like their requirements are so ridiculously high. Yeah. One of the requirements is I, uh, meeting three other Debian developers. No, 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 no. That, that's one level below because that's for Debian maintainer, oh, 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 okay. which is one level below. Debian maintainer is somebody because right, anyone can submit package to Debian. But Debian developer must sponsor it. So it, you must send it to Debian developer and he can say send it to review it and upload it on your behalf. Debian maintainer can upload it without sponsor, but it's still Debian developer and I don't know what uh, the difference is actually is, but it's one level below. And for the Debian maintainer, you have to have GPG key signed by at least one Debian developer, Debian, one and more, and in the past it was three Debian developers. Yeah, so you must met them in person, and when I tried it, so for me it was, uh, it meant I, I traveled to, to Prague, to Wien, and to Salzburg uh, to have that GPG signed. So uh, you have to agree to social contract and policies, and then is the hard part you have to find your advocates like sponsor uh, which then must agree that you are good enough and it's fuzzy defined it's, it's not defined what that means so uh, i sit for a whole week with the debian developer in one room we uh, exchange emails over over uh, net for for weeks and I still was not good enough to become Debian maintainer. So the, the bar is pretty high. Uh, so I'm not sure we want to have it so high. So we are probably not doing anything so wrong. And I'm not sure if we, we can learn well, from Debian something. Well, maybe if we decide, like Kevin Kotler is often uh, suggesting, that like proven packager should be able to introduce new pages, I would raise far this high in this side. Oh, so without review, you mean? Yeah, at least this high. For mm. mm. That's I, mean, I, 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 I would not say that, because if I'm, despite being proven packager and sponsor, I still have no problem sending uh, submitting package review because I'm, I'm familiar with you guys and I quite easy find somebody who do the package review for me right. because the guys knows that uh, there will be very likely no problem with my code. Right. So, so if, it can be done in, in hours. If you're, the, if you're already part of the community, you should just be able to trade reviews or yeah. whatever. Yeah. But 
we are talking about getting new people in. And, and uh, in, in this case, I don't think we should learn something from them. They are doing it worse than we do. Getting new people, uh, most of the Debian developer and other friends come from the, the single research facility in Riga, yeah. mostly because they have a lot of Debian developer inside. Yeah. So they are doing it pretty bad. Yeah, but there are things that Debian does better. You mentioned Debian maintainer that, and Debian developer, but you <coughs> don't keep uh, the, uh, sponsored maintainer. Sponsor, uh, so the Debian developer is like proven packager. They can upload any packages mm -hmm. they want. Debian maintainer can just upload to the packages they have ACL on. So it's like normal packager. But there is also a possibility to maintain a package not be, being neither uh, maintainer nor developer. Just each time you want to have an upload, you just need to contact your sponsor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mentioned that at the beginning. Uh, in, in, in Fedora, we don't have such uh, possibility, really. Uh, well, theoretically, yes, you can provide patches in Bugzillas and so on, but... Uh, but it's, uh, if, it, if it requires uh, more, more, even more time of the sponsor, so I would rather spend that time on on sponsoring that guy and saying what what's wrong with his code and uh, become that yeah, spend the time on him to become <laughs> packager. If, if I spend like three times reviewing the patch that uh, the package that somebody submits, I would rather focus on these three reviews. And after the third time, he yeah. should be smart enough to become a real mm. packager. Yeah. So here comes few suggestion or question uh, I, I I have and then let's discuss. So how to fix that? <coughs> have more sponsors. Uh, right now the the bar is even quite low. Previously it was like fuzzy defined. If he was good, he should be good enough. Right now it's just only you should maintain three non-trivial packages. Uh, have five co high quality non trivial package reviews and uh, have me been members uh, through the branching, so for at least for one early cycle. So it's quite low, and despite the, that fact, we still have uh, quite few sponsors. I, I, I try to ask a few people, a few uh, long time packagers, if they want to become sponsors. And to my surprise, they were not interesting in. Uh, mostly the, the response was something like, why waste the time on the newbies uh, when we have the package review, which is quite long. And if, you, if I want to get that package, it's probably in that package review from somebody already in Fedora and uh, I will spend less time on the review because it will be likely more quality. Uh, more better. So I'm not sure if we are able to find more sponsor, but we can definitely make some marketing. So please become sponsor. Uh, spend your time on the newbies, something right. like that. I mean, the sponsors group is an invite group. You don't apply to become a sponsor, but you get nominated. But no, oh, well, but you no. can submit tickets. You, you can ask. You can ask and submit. Okay, right. Okay, yeah. Right. Yeah. And, and then we are voting. Right. We could just okay, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, right. But we could just say we could approach the existing sponsors and tell each of them how many was it? 135. Yeah. One you now make a suggestion for somebody else becoming a sponsor. And yeah. If if we all did, we would just double the number. Mm. Yeah. I think anybody that wants it. Which requested it already. I mean, really, maybe there's a few that don't know the process, but occasionally think, well, you know, I might like to do that. But I think, I mean, the barrier is really low. I mean, those criteria, which, I mean, I lowered them about as much as I thought was reasonable. Yeah. And then all you do is file a truck ticket. There's only been. Frankly speaking, for all the people we rejected uh, from becoming a sponsor, mm -hmm. we rejected them for a reason. Yes. I, I think there's no way we can further lower the bar. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Uh, but it's just a marketing thing. Yeah, it's more about marketing and the tools. Uh, for example, I said, because when you submit the package, 
and you wait. Uh, I remember when I done that, uh, and I had uh, somebody in Red Hat who done the review, with, so it was quite fast in the end. But still, I waited like days, and uh, I, I was the new buy, and I, I, I have nothing to do. I was, what, what should I do? I was waiting days, and I was feeling like I'm wasting my time. I was young, and I wanted to do something. And so, what about suggesting them that point them to copper and say, okay, as part of the review process, uh, you should maintain your uh, package for some time in, in copper first. Uh, because one of the reasons is that uh, they, the people doesn't have the endurance. So some, some people try to do the review and uh, quit within an amount. And uh, some, some sponsors were feeling, uh, or even they get the package in the Fedora, but then after a year they left Fedora. So some sponsor answered that uh, they were uh, fr frustrated from this. Uh, and they were feeling like wasting their time uh, on somebody who left very soon the Federer. So that, that will show that guys have endurance if they are able to maintain copper repository first. Question? Um, I think that's something which should, uh, um, should push because I like the idea because if someone is able to maintain a package in copper, it's likely that like you will be able to maintain it long term in Fedora. That's the biggest sure. problem. Uh, I suppose for people that remain one year and disappear totally. Mm -hmm. Well, so but that happens. I mean, yeah, yeah, but yeah, but if that happened too often, I, 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 if I want to, if I were to come into more sponsoring, and I knew that they would stay longer. I'm not saying that they should right. entirely, but, but that don't vanish at all, work. or at least even shoot out. Me, okay, I feel that I'm not meeting anything, but please help. Yeah, but just uh, Mira, have you ever have you ever tried to take a look on those uh, reviews which are waiting for sponsor? How how big is the activity of the sponsoring? I mean, I have the experience like if there is. Uh, such start start uh, ticket. It is usually like it was submitted, let's say, a year ago, and since that moment there is no activity at all. I will have so from such guy, I would expect like yes, I care about the package. I regularly update the package, and I would expect that the Bugzilla will be updated with updates of the package and so on. But typically, this is not true. And yes, if that happened, that there was guy who was not sponsored for for. Nine nine years. Yes, that's that's. Well, I would say it's good and bad because like he's shown his endurance and he's shown that he's capable to maintain and take care about the package for such a long time because he had some reason to do that. But otherwise, like sponsor everybody just because it's for for them it's one time shot and. Uh, but just but get the this this Halifax guy is example of somebody who worked for usually for some company, he maintained some piece of software there and he should do that anyway. And he's just willing, okay, I will put that in Debian, in Fedora, yeah. but on the very first obstacle, they will stop. And they said, today boss, okay, I tried, but there was some obstacle and it's, it's, but, it's but no go. I don't, but that's some, I don't feel sorry. If, if they yeah. stop on the first occasion, I don't feel sorry yeah. for them. We have no. a mechanism for getting rid of the stale packages. Um, they get all and they go away. And I would love to see the actual number of where where the requester is still active and, and where we're installed on our on the sponsor yeah. side. Not too many, but there are some. It's just I, I I stopped looking a while back because I just there was too much stuff and. My problem was people would just bomb the review queue with half a billion Node.js packages and it just wasn't worth my time to look at it and sort through all of that. But, I mean, I found very few that um, people that, that were still interested and were active and couldn't find anything. I mean, really. Um, I mean, most of them, they ran into an asshole reviewer like me and then found some problem and then just disappeared because mm -hmm. that I didn't say yes, and you know, 
but then the review stays open. Mm. Eventually, you know, I used to go through every few months and ping all the reviews and close the ones that, and I just I felt that my time was better spent elsewhere. Um, but speaking of time spent, yeah. One federal review yes. you automatically, I'm all for it. Oh yeah. yeah. We can get rid of the okay, good fact. idea. Uh, so we can pursue that as we spoke about it previously. It's just like the, the other talk we had. Uh, technology is there to help you. Yeah. Uh, it serves a purpose, but it's not everything. Mm -hmm. If we could just focus on the uh, get an idea of if the if the guy has understood the, the guidelines mm -hmm. and get rid of all the, the paperwork, mm -hmm. I'm all for it. I, I, I don't, oh, okay. I'm restricted maybe to news constraint. Uh, if we get this on more reviews, that will may give less work to sponsor who wants to show their knowledge of guidelines. Because I want them to focus on actual reviews because that's helping me decreasing the stack. Because when they make a review, they mark points to get sponsored, and I close the review on their behalf. Isn't there mm -hmm. like a guideline mm -hmm. that says? Or maybe that was just my personal guideline. In order for you, for me to sponsor you, I want you to take place uh, to take to participate in at least three other reviews. That, that yeah. is not a hard guideline. No. It's, it's, it's should should should. It's it should your sponsor. Be you can sponsor anyone for any reason at any time. Okay. Um, that's that's what it means. Once you get to that point, um, you can do whatever you want. It is up to you because, mm -hmm. but the job of the sponsor is to assist that person getting through the process of getting their reviewed, already reviewed package into the distribution and out and updated when they need it, which means that you're on the hook for at least a year to help these people with the questions that they have. That's Maybe. what it means. You are not taking responsibility for the quality of their packages. You don't even have to look at the package if Maybe. you don't want to, because somebody else reviewed it already. Maybe we just need to get more to the snowball system. I mean, um, one of the reasons, like I, I got sponsored, no, I got sponsored, and I became a sponsor pretty quickly. But the reason why it was Lim who uh, sponsored me was, yeah. uh, no, not only sponsored me, but made me a sponsor or asked if, if it was okay to make or nominate me a sponsor was as soon as uh, the candidate has become a sponsor himself, you're no longer responsible for that for him. Mm -hmm. So like this the snowball approach. Mm -hmm. uh, we all as sponsors should should encourage other to become sponsors, which then again or like Mm -hmm. Each of us should encourage uh, five. If, if whenever you have sponsored somebody new, encourage them to do five reviews. When they then get sponsored, uh, but, uh, that's an interesting. The, the snowball approach yeah. will become like but maybe <coughs> we need to visualize this because mm -hmm. there is no easy way to see how many people you sponsored. No, that's true. It's always been a problem. I think um, fast three might help. I but keep the, a list of it. Uh, yeah, you have to keep a list of yours. Or something, but it's cumbersome. Yeah, I mean, the only real way to do it, by the way, is you have to have database access and you just do an SQL for it. And everybody should just nominate five new people or something like that. Yeah. We'll list of people in fast and just. But, okay. I did. So. Uh, yes. Now I would like to focus on. Uh, because. The, all these doesn't help with those stale, stalled review, which are waiting for years there. Right. Uh, so there are two uh, suggestions. So we I don't, may highlight somehow the bugs which are waiting and where the last comment is from the reporter. So it's very likely waiting for the sponsor. Uh, uh, I even trying to reset some bugs where if it is assigned to sponsor and it's waiting for two years and sponsor doesn't react, I, I will reset it back to nobody uh, because some people have the filter that if it is assigned so it's pro in progress, right. it doesn't look in, the, in their searches. Uh, but even so some, some sponsor or sponsor is suggested it, said it should send more emails because 
Uh, if, if you are in some bazilla <coughs> and which is waiting for two years, you get the last email two years ago, and it's right. very likely slip of your mind. So you must intentionally go to Bugzilla and look what on your status on the reviews. Uh, I'm not sure how many people do that. So we can uh, somehow highlight these Bugzilla. I don't know how. Or there was other suggestion from somebody that we tried a SegDeer IETF SegDeer approach when you can uh, take the review, uh, assign it to somebody with a deadline random people, a random sponsor, uh, set the deadline. Uh, if the deadline is not met, then remove the sponsor from cir circulation temporarily and assign it to somebody. So if the review, no, no one take it for six months, let's say one year, I don't know, and still no one take it, so why not assign it to somebody? and? Even if there's Java and I don't like Java, I will try my best. Right, that's the okay. Thing. Can I just say, okay, I'm not a Java guy. Please reassign it to somebody else. But uh, it shouldn't be better like okay. to find the Java guy before yeah, I find the Yeah. Okay. Guy. I think that the very important aspect is just speci specialization mentioned uh, earlier. So uh, personally, I will not review any non-Java package. I'm Java only. And but as it, far as I know, there is no Java reviews it's, waiting. It's about software. it's about setting it's a setting the tools. Uh, so it can be either some tools, dump script which assign it to somebody, or we can uh, set up wiki page where everyone uh, state his specialization, uh, and, and it will be done manually. And someone say, okay, here is the Bugzilla review. Is waiting for six months for somebody. I will look on the wiki for best guy and I will assign it to somebody. Yeah. And if you say I don't want, I will assign it to somebody else. It's up to us. I, I don't know. I'm it, trying to it, it, it can be just uh, um, a tracking bug in Godzilla. So F, we have FE needs sponsor and it can be FE needs sponsor or Java or something like that. I mean, I don't think it's, it's needed, but I but really like we know it, the people. It's a simple uh, but question. As, me as a sponsor, I know at least people who understand federal packaging. So it might be you that I will ask you for help in the review, or I can ask somebody who is not sponsor but he is fluent in Java packages, and I can ask him. So let's make the review, and I, sp I sponsor the guy, sure. and that would work for me. So I, I of course because. If somebody is packaging some Java package, and I don't know anything about Java, but somebody else reviews it, but the guy's got a functional package and the package reviewer did his job, then what I have to do is say, yes, this is how you run Fed package. This is how you import your stuff. Let me make sure that you've got all of your keys are uploaded and you have problems with that, and here's how you do your builds, and okay, now your thing's in Bodhi, and know now see if you can get karma and then okay now it's in the distro and then three months later they come back and say well what's this branch thing and what do I do for the next release and, or you know yeah. when can I update my package a lot of questions like that that's what the sponsors are around for yeah. the problem is the terminology is probably not correct we have people who are new packages right that means their reviews are going to be more difficult and take more time probably because they don't know things the people who are going to help new packages are not necessarily the people who are going to shepherd them through the system. Um, we used to say the sponsor was the person who did all that, but it's not necessarily what it is. When you see the need sponsor, it means your review is probably going to be more difficult because you're dealing with somebody who hasn't done this before. But that's, oh. that's something that tells the reviewer. It's almost as if we need two separate designations. Somebody should say they're a new packager. That means the review is going to be harder. But once the review gets done, then they're going to need a shepherd instead of a sponsor, yeah. a, a guide I, maybe some, you know. I I got one maybe. idea during the presentation on her talk about I'm contributor now what uh, that we can upload some of these shepherd work from sponsory because a lot of them is repeating like yes. okay there is the the first branching you are 
picture and right. now suddenly first branching and now what 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 what, what do i do yeah yeah what do i do what what that means what are all these emails so, i get from release engineers so can yeah. we can we prepare some documents youtube video whatever uh documentation wiki page and use data grabber and when the branching occurs find uh most recent sponsors who doesn't come through the branching yet and send them email uh you are new contributors and this is your first branching mm -hmm. you mean this 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 learn about this or uh you submitted your package for the rawhide and now it's time to learn about body here you here right. is the documentation etc yeah. so so make it automatically and some uh and those that which are right. doing anyway yeah. let's automate them The first one would be uh, having a simplistic documentation. Uh, just uh, take the most important point right. of the wiki and make it simpler. It should uh, it should be readable and and it's right. like two or Not three pages. Not the 27 step join document that right. we have now, right? Okay. And the slightly less serious is about more about the workflow. Maybe having a coloring book. <laughs> just asking you <laughs> to to what do I do? What do I do and what happens? And that's that, uh, that's a good candidate for a coloring book. Um, not necessarily a coloring book, but, yeah, but uh, we have to start off them some of them. Uh, it went under the term of Fedora class group by the time which the term is now used for something else. Uh, but a Fedora example, like we have the example package for a new packager. Um, you check check it out from Git. You create a patch. Uh, you build that. You you build a Koji scratch build of that patch or whatever, like a step by step tutorial or, or even the branching thing could be done before and the actual right. branching. And, and, right. and we can we, yeah. we can uh, make those cl Fedora classrooms and use that for 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 those new guys uh, uh, again uh, educate them on, on the stuff because uh, and tell them about <coughs> the stuff we have because they it's hard to find a sponsor but I remember <coughs> on the floor it was two years ago there was like some talk about okay let's talk about packaging and there will be sponsors who are willing to sponsor your package but there was only the sponsors, no one willing to be sponsored. Okay. <laughs> okay. We are running up. I got a, I got one radical proposal. <laughs> Start just ignore everything sponsor and whatever. When somebody shows up and wants to package, not that they have already made a package and figured out how to dump it in Bugzilla and all that mess. Before that, Give a, give a place where people can come, say, I wish to submit package, here's the things I want to work on. You will get assigned three mentors from the pool of however we decide, and this pool should be big, and hopefully we can find people who would want to do this. Get not one, because one person can disappear, get three or even more, mm -hmm. and those people will be your contacts and they will help you. Mm -hmm. Get all the way through the process, and they may suggest that you go to Copper first if that's the kind of package. You look at what the person and individually what they want to do. If somebody's trying to package some tiny Unix utility or something, you know, fine, you have an easy way. But somebody who wants to do something big is going to need more shepherding, more help. Probably going to want something deployed through Copper so that it doesn't. You know, they don't get stuck in a review queue. People can actually use and test their stuff. Yeah. Uh, that I mean. reminds me another point. Maybe also having a sponsor that speaks the same native language. Just that wouldn't hurt. Mm. Uh, At least just know. one person that's going to um, be their mentor. So yeah. you start and do a mentor um, thing. Yes. For in, the, in the ambassador's project, uh, we learned that the, the native language, or even the, the country, the local, I mean, US, French guy probably mm -hmm. know that, but because your okay. community is right. French, French, French uh, uh, so, uh, so that helps. So we pull together people who know packaging, people who are part of the ambassador or regional group that could perhaps better assist the person when we have language difficulties, etc. And that will be that person's team that they can all talk together 
you see. So a person gets a team of people, not all of whom have to do a ton of work, right? But they have to be available. And then we can get them into the technologies. And this gets all the way to the point where, okay, they've gotten their Fedora account and they've signed the FPCA or whatever we call it now. They've gotten to that point. Now they can submit and say, look, you know, I want to do packaging. I want to package some stuff. At that point, they should be able to get a group of people and not just like, well, there's a ton of people on IRC that'll help you. But actual names and faces that they're, they get. Is there a way, like, I mean, we could run Chrome jobs with Bugzilla queries for all the uh, stall every new yeah. uh, needs part. It's or incredibly or hard to actually do reasonable Bugzilla queries. I yeah, but for example, you mentioned that horrible page that I put up like years ago that I, I stopped working on it because we were supposed to have this fancy new review system that never happened. But <laughs> But like, oh, like, to get back, of, back to the to your idea mm -hmm. of the uh, assign a team or something like yeah. that. Uh, how about we randomly half automatically assign? We make sure at least three people are always set on CC for the default, well, and, and ideally, it would be an intelligent selection based on FAS, uh, based on the locale or the the well, that's that's set in FAS. And uh, set like if it's a German uh, candidate, always assign him one ideally three right. German sponsors. If that's not available, at least one German sponsor. Yeah, well, you should have and something or ge 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 geographically <coughs> near so yes, or German someone <laughs> from foreign Czech. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not suggesting all of them. Next, is the next one. step, if somebody removes himself from the CC group. Uh, assign somebody new to make sure it's always three yeah. people until yeah. somebody has picked up the bug and assigned it to himself. Okay, Absolutely. guys, I will have to stop stop the uh, recording, mm -hmm. uh, but of course we are uh, we can per continue with the discussion yeah. we have down the, tomorrow uh, later. We have uh, a tour, walking tour. Right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I will uh, write uh, notes from this uh, session and we'll send them for. To Fedora sponsor mailing list. Yeah. 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 Because more send people than Fedora Develop. More Fedora people Develop are sponsors. Okay. Send Fedora Develop. Yeah, okay. There are more people the better than sponsors who need to be involved. And in now something just for the users who are watching this stream. Yeah, I will tell you something secret which was not tell here.